Okay, Virgo Sun Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for May 15, 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Uh, I pull, I already went ahead and pulled the spread for you guys, all right? Yeah. Uh, coming in with the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. A lot of you guys might be feeling that things have been moving very slowly for you guys. But Spirit and the Angels are telling you, please don't give up. Even though you guys may have been multitasking too many things at the time with the Two of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and the Ace of Wands, things are going to get brighter for you guys much more. They want you to not give up. I know you guys are tired and exhausted with the Nine of Wands, but it's like you guys have to stay focused. You guys may be multitasking quite a bit with the Two of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, but things are going to start looking much more better for you. Those like uh, you guys are going to have the energy, the boost of energy that you guys are needing. Even though you guys are exhausted and tired, Spirit of the Angels are going to give you the boost of energy that you guys need for you guys to continue to move forward. You guys are very resilient and you show a lot of perseverance in the time that you guys are always having to multitask or juggle quite a bit, but you're able to stay afloat above the water so I don't see anything bad happening I just simply see a very strong powerful person who is just very very exhausted and very tired and you just want things to be easy but for people like you guys <laughs> things don't come easy you have to work very hard for it because that's who you are you're the type of people that okay well if things came so easy for you you guys are gonna give up because you guys, you guys like challenges, you know? It's the challenge that keeps you guys going. The multitasking, the up and down, that keeps you guys going. So because you guys are so resilient and you guys have been going through so many tests with left, right, right? It's saying that the universe is going to bless you with that, with the Ace of Wands energy. Some of you guys might be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you guys might be feeling like this person is just absolutely impulsive at certain times. But more so with the fact that they held a lot of power and control over the relationship that you guys might be in. I do believe this person acts very impulsive with the temperance card in reverse. Just like very impatient, very impulsive. Like it's like they're waiting for an answer. You don't give them an answer or they tell you to hurry up and then you don't hurry up and then they get up and they leave, right? Like that's just stupid energy. Uh, on, a, on a heavy, like I can totally see a Sagittarius acting like that. <laughs> So them Saggies they got like they on some they're great they're very loving and great but at the same time they do have some sort of temper problem quite a bit with that <laughs> they do have a temper problem oh <sighs> I'm sorry Virgos I'm always so tired <laughs> all right sweethearts. Coming with the Knight of Pentacles, the Star card, the uh, Nut Page, Hierophant, Seven Pentacles, and the World card. Alright, some of you guys might be trying to figure out what your next moves are going to be regarding an Aquarius, from what I'm seeing. It's saying that there's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn who wants to come towards you guys. This person wants to work on this relationship with the Star card to the Page of Swords. You guys might be coming and acting like a little bit defensive when this person comes towards you guys. Some of you guys might be in a relationship or a marriage at the same time with the Seven of Pentacles to the World card. It's like, how are you... How are you still like somebody here? Like you said, but you guys told somebody that you're married or vice versa, but they're still choosing to approach you. I don't understand why is that exactly. Also, Virgos, uh, some of you guys might be reaching out to an Aquarius, but this Aquarius doesn't seem to want nothing to do with you with the Page of Swords, the Hierophant, the Seven of Pentacles, and the World card. That relationship is done and over with. You guys continue to go to go back to a relationship that doesn't serve you guys at all anymore. This person might be getting married or thinking about wanting to get married or is just simply in another relationship that they feel much more happier in. Seven of Pentacles, the world card. You guys gotta let it go. Gotta let it go. Let it go. You know, this Aquarius here, this Page of Swords there, they might be in another connection with somebody else. And they're trying to get their life together by maybe going to church or staying more faithful to God, whatever the case is, like, they even have, they had, like, a, uh, they're saying rejuvenation, they're, like, they're having, like, a spiritual awakening from what I'm seeing here, so they're gonna have to go through that cycle, um, also, Virgos, there's gonna be some sort of connection between you, a Virgo, a Gemini, and also a Pisces, uh, you guys might feel like you don't know how to get this relationship off the ground with the Magician in reverse to the Seven of Wands, but it looks like this person wants to come in and they want to fight for the relationship as well. You guys have better luck on, you guys have better luck towards you guys with the Wheel of Fortune to the Magician. But in order for you guys to have this better luck coming in for you guys, you have to know how to utilize the Magician energy, which is simply you guys having like the fork, the plate, the knife, the, you know, the, the tools 
and saying like, hey, this is what I want. So you guys can be fighters to go get it, right? If you guys are going to sit down like a bump on a log and say, oh, I don't know how to do this and I don't know how to do that, then expect nothing. Expect nothing. Expect nothing. You have to say, okay, you know what? God blessed you with this, 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 and this, and this. All right, I'm going to go make it together, put something together. It's like you have, like, I don't know, you're trying to make, you're trying to make yourself food. Okay, so put something together. You can't put something together. You don't know how to. Magician to the Seven of Wands. Figure it out. Figure it out. Also, Virgos, you guys have a connection here coming in. Things are going to be turning around for you, which is going to be better for you in the longer with the Wheel of Fortune to the two, two of Cups. There's a connection coming in for you guys. This is going to be a great connection for you guys if you choose to want it to be great. If you don't know how to utilize the energy with the Magician in reverse, and you're going to get continue to get into your own way and, and carry this... Uh, put a wall over you every single time with the seven of wands to become defensive and saying don't do this and don't do that and don't touch this and don't touch that then don't expect a relationship at all hey man seven of wands how do you expect to be in a relationship with people uh when you're always defensive or at least this private person is and then i see that you guys are very loving and sweet virgos this person wants to come towards you guys with the six of swords you guys have a virgo a gemini a pisces uh where you guys may not have been speaking to this person for a while you guys may have gotten a little bit defensive with this person but it looks like they're ready to come towards you with the six of swords they want to heal the relationship so you guys are going to have to make the decision with the queen of cups to the swords but you guys like still love this person very much and during the full moon energy you guys are going to try and figure out if you guys want to take this approach, I'm sorry, Virgos. You guys are going to want to try and figure out if you want to take this approach. There could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius who's trying to figure out right now if they want to come in and they want to talk to you. It looks like even if they were to talk to you or cuss you out, you don't care about nothing that this person has to say. You don't care. You don't care. What do, what do you care for? They're sitting here talking to you behind your back. And they think that they're going to be able to say something to you and they think that you're going to turn around for them. You're not turning around for them. This Queen of Wands is not turning around for the Queen of Swords at all. It's like, what did you say, bitch? <laughs> What'd you say, bitch? Like, don't call, don't, don't walk after people. Don't walk after people. If you guys are not like this to each other, I don't know. Oh. Still, and still, it's not right. Meaning, you guys don't connect with each other. You guys are clashing with each other. This Queen of Wands don't really care about what anything that you have to say at this point, Queen of Swords. They don't care. Like, talk to this person. They already know. They're not going to talk to you. They're not going to talk to you. Eight of Wands in reverse. They got, they got bigger things that they got to worry about with the Ten of Pentacles. They're not worried about you. They don't care. They don't care about nothing that you have to say to them. Don't waste your breath. Because this Queen of Wands is like, I don't have time for you. I don't have time for your shit. I don't have time for whatever it is that you have to say. I'm picking up, like, say either say it to my face or don't say it at all. The Queen of Wands don't care. She don't care. Also, Virgos. <laughs> and I, I think that's not wrong. I think she should, she absolutely should not care about anything that this Queen of Swords has to say. Because I see this Queen of Swords being incredibly miserable. Like, really, really miserable. They just want to, like, bother somebody. And they chose this Queen of Wands to bother. What are you bothering people for? If you're miserable, just go be miserable somewhere else. Don't bother people. Nine of Pentacles. You guys end up winning in the end. Because this Queen of Wands is more focused on their finances, stability, recognition, the things that make them happy, uh, they end up winning in the end. Yeah, they're not going to sit down and listen to people who are behind them. Uh, you're going to continue to move forward. Nine of Pentacles, Six of Wands. You guys end up getting the success and the triumph from what I'm seeing here. The Moon card. The Sun card, the Empress card, and the Knight of Cups. It looks like there's gonna be a big, chish, a big shift coming in for you guys, Virgos, uh, with the with the with the planetary that's coming in. There's also gonna be a Kazemi uh, Venus effect that's coming in. A Leo energy with the Sun card, Leo energy, Kazemi energy, and that looks like Kazemi effect in Venus that's happening in Leo. Yeah, right there. This is a Kazemi effect that's happening in. The heart of the sun. That's so cute. The heart of the sun. All right? There's a Venus uh, Kazemi effect that's happening in Leo. This is going to be happening in... What's that sun card? August. This is going to be able to help you guys out in the energy of love. Because when Venus is going to be in the Kazemi effect uh, aligned with uh, Leo from what I'm seeing here, it's saying that this is going to be beneficial for you guys when it comes to love and relationships. Like 
go out, do what you guys need to do, take that leap of faith, trust the universe that you guys are going to be able to find love. It's going to be very, very intense, especially with the Leo energy, because Leo is very intense, it's very fiery, it's very passionate, and you guys are going to be able to find that with the Knight of Cups as well, to the Empress energy. A lot of you guys are just like really, in, like it's, it's just, it's going to be, it's honestly Virgo, it's going to be really, really intense. I see a lot of intense energy, because it's, it's the Sun energy, the Sun to the Empress, Knight of Cups, that's intense energy, and the fact it's going to be in Leo, Yes, this is happening, and it's gonna be. It looks like it's coming in in the month of August. I don't know. Google it if you need to, but I do see that. I see a Kazemi effect happening, uh, a a Venus Kazemi effect happening in the month of August, and it's gonna be very intense, or it's tense intensified because it's in the fiery energy of Leo. But this is going to be able to help you guys out to take that leap of faith, to trust the universe that there's going to be love coming towards you guys. Cancer Pisces Scorpio, even if it's not a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, it's just simply that it's a person who's just very loving and very sweet and, and kind and caring, right? Yeah, take that leap of faith, Virgos. Trust it. Put an end to cycles that don't serve you guys anymore. Uh, transform yourselves for the better, right? Page of Pentacles. You guys see that. You guys are realizing that with the Page of Pentacles energy. And you're ready to fill your cup up with true love, right? Transform that energy and then and then take that leap of faith. They keep talking about agility, agility, agility with the fool cards. Like this is the right time for you guys to make that transformation with the with the, like put an end to things that don't serve you. Transform the energy. Take that leap of faith. Trust that things are gonna move very very smoothly for you guys with the fool card there, right? Uh, you guys have this Virgo here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I am picking up past energy, Virgo. <laughs> I am picking up past energy. Uh, with the Five of Pentacles, it's just that a lot of you guys may have been feeling really bad and lonely. But you'll be able to get it together. You're not wasting your time on things that don't serve you guys anymore. With the Eight of Cups or the Queen of Pentacles, like you guys know better now. Um, it's, you guys need to stop feeling so insecure or, or holding on to things that don't serve you anymore. Like, stop holding on to things. Stop being in hermit. Stop... Uh, they're saying stop thinking someone's going to come and get you out of hermit. No one's coming to get you, Virgos. Like, yo, you want to go live your life? Go live your life. You really think that this life is, is to keep you guys uh, inside all the time? Go live your life. What are you losing if you go and live your life? You're the only one that's going to end up losing. Go live your life. Eight of Cups. Just move forward. Uh, close with the cycles with the eight of cups the, the four of pentacles there could be a virgo here who's very very insecure with the four of pentacles that's cleaving onto the energy uh they are reflecting back at the arguments that you guys may have had with each other or the struggles that you guys had with each other with the hermit card to the five of wands just a lot of bullshit energy from what i'm seeing it could also be an aries little sagittarius but there are definitely in their head quite a bit at the moment they are thinking a lot about uh the fighting that you guys may have had with each other uh, and they are overthinking quite a bit. They're a little bit worried about what you're going to have to say to them, but they are going to take that movement and be brave to contact you with the page of wands. They're just going to be like, fine, I don't want to be in the head anymore. I'm going to be brave. I'm going to contact them, that Virgo, and they're going to reach out to you guys, all right? And then you guys got here. What is that? You guys got the three of pentacles in reverse. A lot of you guys are just sick and tired of mediocre shit, mediocre love, putting your effort into relationships that are only maybe sexual, but there is going to be uh, a Virgo, a Gemini, a, okay, maybe a Virgo, a Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, <laughs> a Virgo, uh, who's going to see that you are very beautiful or very handsome for that matter. This person's coming in very quickly for you. They are going to take that action to come in and want to work on this relationship. They're releasing the stress and the burden. Like maybe this person has a lot of energy of wondering what if and what can and what can it could be. They're going to let it go. It's 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 draining their energy, always thinking so much. They're just going to go ahead and do it with the Knight of Swords. And they're going to come towards you. They're going to let go of all the bullshit, the burdens, the stress, the problems, overthinking. They're going to let it all go. And they're taking that leap of faith, remember? Because this is going to be the energy of the Kazemi effect in Venus. And Venus and Leo of the Kazemi in the month of August. It's going to be very much so intensified. And this person's going to feel that with the Lover's card. And they're going to just simply come towards you guys, Virgos, with the Knight of Swords, Eight, Ten of Wands. They don't want to be feeling it anymore. Oh, I'm so tired, Virgos. Uh, King of Cups and the Chariot card as well. So they're going to move forward towards you guys. They are choosing to 
do whatever they need to do to make this relationship work. They're going to express to you, obviously. They're emotionally available to. And they see something very special within you that they want to take on your faith. Oopsies, Virgos. I am so sorry. At the bottom of the deck, you guys got the three of wands. This person might be at a distance from you guys. Some of you guys might be planning on traveling or making a quick move. But I do see that somebody here is going to be doing a road trip or are literally jumping on the plane. With the cherry card three wands, someone's jumping on a plane. It looks like you might have to go a little bit out. Maybe it's like a three-hour flight. Maybe it take, you guys are going across the world. It might take like three days just to get there. I don't know what you guys are doing out here. Taking a boat, taking a plane, taking a, a bike. What are you guys trying to do out here? <laughs> anyway, Virgos, traveling time is here. Try your card to the three ones. A lot of you guys might be planning for a traveling trip coming into the future. And it might be three months from now. Um, what are we in? We're May, June, July, August. Oh my goodness! Some of you guys may also be from a distance with each other. Like during the Kazemi effect of Venus, it's cute that the energy is coming in. Like a lot of energy is coming in for you guys in the month of August, which is really cute. It's like we're skipping, we're skipping months, <laughs> which is funny. We're going all the way into the. We're going all the way in. All right. I don't know what to tell you, Virgo. I'm just so tired. <laughs> um. Somebody here is going to be telling you with the King of Cups, Cherry card, and the Three of Wands, they're going to let you know, hey, you know, I know we're at a distance from each other, but it's kind of like, it's like burdening them that they can't have, that they can't see you all the time. So they're going to just make the offer letting you know, hey, you know what, is it okay if I can come and see you? And they're just going to want to come and see you and hang out with you and maybe jump on a plane, especially for the ones that might be at a distance from each other that you might have to. I, I heard Las Vegas. Is that something? <laughs> Whatever. I have no idea. Anyway, Virgo, just uh, traveling. So this person's going to be very passionate. They're going to let you know, hey, you know, they want to come towards you guys. Three of Wands. They might have to wait for the right time or they may have to tell you within like the next three days. Uh, even if this person wants to tell you, hey, you know what? I'm going to come through for you. I want to see you. Uh, and if they're maybe at a distance from you, expect three days after that. So if they're going to be like, hey, I don't know. Hey, whatever. I'm, I'm going to come and see you. And then it's like, that day they tell you, and then one, two, three, and they, they they start showing up on the third day, all right? So if you guys may be planning on going to some sort of gathering or some sort of party, it's saying that you guys are going to have a lot, of, a lot of fun. Maybe some of these going to be speaking about what it is that they do for work with the Three of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Um, also, Virgos, the Leo energy of the Kazima is going to be coming in very, very hot. Like, I see hot energy for you guys with the Strength card and the Nine of Cups. It's like... This Kazemi effect will end up actually working in your favor, especially in love and also in, in beauty as well. It's going to be great for you guys, especially with the Empress energy. Like, you guys are divine, is from what I'm seeing. Like, absolutely divine here. It's so cute energy. Um, some of you guys might also end up having, like, some sort of work party or some sort of work gathering as well. Oh, my God. We're good. I don't know what to tell you. Forgive me. All right. Don't even think about it. I Don't you even dare think about it. Oh, that's so rude, Barbie. You keep yawning. Yeah, because you don't know nothing. Anyways, Virgos. Uh, three of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, and the Strength card. Uh, <laughs> so you guys are going to be... It looks like somebody here is going to be going out to a party. You guys are going to be having a lot of fun. A ton of fun. Also, Virgos, there could be a group of people who are trying to find a way to destroy you or destroy the work that you guys have been doing. This person's big mad. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this person here has a rude awakening coming towards them. A rude awakening is coming in for this person with the Ten of Swords, King of Swords. They think that they're, they're they think they're good now. Ain't no, 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 they're not good, Virgos. They're gonna get smashed out completely with the Ten of Swords, King of Swords. This person thought that they can gr click up with people, group up with people to come in and, and and do one on you guys. This person's gonna get. I'm telling you, Virgos. When I say this person's gonna get smashed, they're gonna little legitimately get smashed with the Ten of Swords to the Queen of to the King of Swords. They have no right doing what they what they were doing. Yeah, I'm telling you, Virgos, two of wands, it's here. This person tried to destroy you, but their karma's coming in. I'm telling you, Virgos, their karma's coming in. Tower card and the three of swords is coming in for a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're getting murked. They're already, they're already getting murked for what they've done to you. They sit there and they plot and they plan, but they don't realize how, how ten steps ahead you are of them. They're going to get their karma so badly. Like, you guys are going to get your justice for what this person did to you. <sighs> but they're not going to be able to get themselves out of this one with the Tower card to the Three of Swords. They're going to be really, really hurt and upset. 
Yeah, that sword energy is coming in for them. Divination's not having it at all with the Ace of Swords Tower card. Divination's going to send them the sword to bring in the tower to the Three of Swords. An extra sword is coming in for the King of Swords, specifically because it's a Gemini Libra Aquarius. And since he's not using his headspace in the right way, Divination's going to come in, take that same sword, and they're going to bring that shit down tower card. Yeah, you got to be careful because that Three of Swords is for the three people that you were clicking up and working against this High Priestess. You're wrong for that. If it takes a group of people to destroy one person, then doesn't that mean that you're a problem? Like, why don't you go focus on do something else with your life? Like, why don't you go and... You're the king of swords. You're, you should be smart. Like, why are you acting like a dumbass for? I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. What are, what are you being a dumbass for? You're not a dumbass. But you're acting like a dumbass. It doesn't make sense. You're the king of swords. You're supposed to be smart. But you're acting so stupid, yo. Yo, justice for the high priestess. Legit. Justice for the high priestess. The high priestess is going gonna, is gonna to get the justice that they need in the end. You did way too much. Too much stupid shit for no reason. Um, Three of Swords, Tower Card, Ace of Swords coming in for a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for what they've done to this High Priestess, Page of Cups. They got a lot of, rep they said repenting. They got a lot of repenting that they're going to have to do to Divination. But they said that they sat there trying to put this High Priestess in the Devil Energy of Low Vibrational Energies with the Page of Cups Devil Card. Yeah, kept making these offerings to the Devil. Kept making the offerings to the devil with the Six of Pentacles to the devil card. To the Page of Cups. You don't even know what you're working with. What do you mean? You're a page. The devil don't want nothing to do with you, Four of Cups. And you're going to be pissed off about it. Yeah. Six of Cups and the Six six of Cups to the, to the Emperor. You're way too strong, Virgo. Honestly. This person is so horrible. They work with a lot of dark and evil magic with the Emperor card to the Devil card. But I also see that you guys are very much so protected as well. That even the Devil won't even accept this person's offering either. <laughs> the Devil card to the Six of Pentacles is saying, No, sorry, I can't accept your offering because the Divination is stepping in at the moment with the Ace of Swords. So... I'm going to let Divination come in and juke you up with the Ace of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. It is what it is. Also, Virgos, you guys got, uh, this might be, that might be like past life energy where you guys got a lot of karma from people from the past life where you guys all reincarnate at the exact same time in this life. So you guys are just having to clear that shit up. I do see that there is kar uh, karmic debt coming in, that you guys are clearing up your karmic debt from things that had happened in a past life. But I'm also seeing that your enemies and people who are trying to press you who are trying to mess you up with the devil card they have a lot of karmic debt that they have to pay up for in this life now and coming in in the next generations as well they're like they, they they uh because it's the six of cups it's like six six they should have let this go and release it but because they didn't change for the better in this life they have six more reincarnations of karmic debt that they're gonna have to pay up for this year, this life is going to go by. They'll come back in the next life. I don't know, 50 years from now. They got to pay up for that debt that they did to you in 2023. Then that time is going to go by and they got to come back again and they're going to have to pay up for it again. The six next, the six next reincarnations, uh, this Gemini Libra Aquarius is going to have to pay up for what they did to you in this life. Yo, you're hurting your soul, bro. Just leave people alone. Save your soul. SOS. Save your soul, dog. Four of Wands. Uh, looks like you, Virgos, are going to continuously be happy. Ace of Pentacles. Judgment card is being called in. I'm telling you guys, Virgos, this is the year of judgment. Spirit and the angels are not happy with what people have done to you. With the Seven of Swords, the judgment card, they're calling judgment on every single person. who They, they know better not to do it, but they did it anyway. And that's why... All the tests, like there's just so many tests that have passed by and all of the enemies who continuously attacked you in this life, these were all tests to see, are you going to repeat the exact same shit that you, that you already went through in a past life? And the answer is they did. They did. Seven of Swords. Judgment's being called in. You failed that test. Oh, they, they, they said you failed. They failed that test miserably. 
Like, you guys did a horrible job in this in this life. Honest to God. Like, you guys could have did better, but then nobody wants to do good. They don't even care about themselves, nor do they care about their souls. But this is because these are probably people who are like, I don't know what to say. I don't, don't want to say it like that, but they might be a little bit atheist here. That they don't really believe in that. They only believe in, like, the spirit. Like, how do I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. Anyway, judgment's being called in. Uh, Archangel Gabrielle, Archangel Michael, the angels are calling in on the Seven of Swords. They don't appreciate the selfishness of what these people have done to you. I'm telling you, Virgos, they're going to get murked really badly. I don't even want to go there to really talk about it a whole lot. But I do see that something bad is going to end up happening to them if they keep up that energy with the Seven of Swords judgment card. I'm not going to show you these uh, these cards here. But uh, I don't feel like it, I don't feel like it's necessary. Uh, with the five with the five of swords there as well, Virgos. These people are just so selfish and conniving. With the seven of swords to the five of swords, just always thinking that they can attempt to take anything that they can from you. Especially with the ace of pentacles, messing with your money all the time, messing with your life path, messing with you. Period. They need to back up off of you. That I'm telling you, I can see, I can tell you right now what's gonna happen to. I don't, I don't want to go there. I don't feel like it's. I don't, I don't want to. I'm not God. I'm not. I'm not gonna tell you guys what's gonna happen to the people who are continuously attacking you and hurting you and harming you. I'm not God. I'm not gonna do it. They know exactly what they're what they're doing to themselves if they keep this shit up. Just, just, I can't even explain to you how horrifying it is. They don't even care about themselves. They don't even care about themselves. Uh, they need to fall back off of you guys. And they need to leave you guys alone. Uh, they need to take some time. And they need to maybe more so meditate. They have to get it together from all the jealousy that they have within them. It's I don't understand how you feel good. Like you do something bad to somebody. How do you feel good about yourself? Even if you do something bad to somebody, they're not suffering. They're still living their best life, four of ones. They're still living their best life. What do you mean? The only one that's going to suffer it would be them. What's coming for them is very treacherous. Anyway, Virgos, also, be careful as well, Virgos. There might be some sort of setup that's about to take place on you guys. They're saying, yo, be still, mind your business, and don't let these people come anywhere near you guys. With the seven of swords, five of swords, make sure you guys watch your back. For, uh, it could be from any sign, but it's saying that you guys are going to wake up and realize that it is in fact a setup and you guys need to fall back for a swords. You guys are about to find out there's a huge setup coming in. If there's going to be any type of negotiations when it comes to finances, money, if anybody here is going to be linking up with anybody at a hotel, four of wands, ace of pentacles, seven of swords, you need to watch your back. They're saying this is a huge setup that's coming in. You should not be at that hotel. You should not be at that place. You should not be anywhere near that place. A Four of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. It might look like an opportunity for you guys to be able to make some money, but watch your back. It's not going to go as planned. It's not going to go as planned. Four of Swords, Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. You'll watch your back, Virgo. This is, this is a huge setup that's coming in. You guys are going to realize maybe at the last second that it's a setup. But I'm telling you, Virgos, if you guys go there, you're not going to make it out. You go in, you get involved in the setup, you're not coming back out. No. You're going to have to, you're going to literally, you're going to have to literally, let me just go back for a second, five of swords, so I can take care of you guys quickly. I don't care what, what you guys do with your life. But if there's a setup coming in and you guys got a bad feeling, yo, know, mind your business. Don't go. All right? Let me go this way. This way. This way, this way. That way. That's money. That's a hotel. Six of Cups. People that you thought that you can trust from the past. Maybe it's going to be with a guy and a girl. This person here, they make a lot of money. Emperor card. Tower card. Devil card, a drug deal. They might want to offer you some sort of drink. They said, don't accept the drink. Don't take nothing from that. Don't take a sip from that drink. It's right here. Don't, 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 don't take a sip from it. 
Don't drink it. This emperor here, who might be like the bodman, the bossman, the, the dealer, whatever. Watch out for him. He will F you up. That's a bod man. And they want their money. Or they want to make some sort of exchange with you. Either whether it be drug dealing. Whatever the case is. Just dangerous energy Virgos. They're saying that you need to listen to your intuition with the high priestess. Just because you guys may have known each other from the past. Or you guys know them for a long time. Doesn't mean you can sit there and trust them. This is people who have already hurt you and broke your heart. I don't recommend you guys getting involved in this situation. If you guys already told this person that you're going to link up with them, I think that it's okay for you guys to get out of it or find a way to get out of it. This is somebody who's also been to the bin already. You guys need to wake up. This type of lifestyle for you guys is not working out for you. They're going to contact you over the text messaging. They're going to send you a message on the, on the, with the Page of Cups, they're going to send you a text message. Some of you guys are not going to want to respond with the Four of Cups. Like, so at the last second, it seems like you guys are going to like, kind of like clue in and kind of like listen to your intuition. But it's like you're, it's only a Page of Cups intuition. It's not a whole lot. It's just, and it's enough for you guys to realize that whatever it is that you guys are getting yourselves involved in, it's not a good idea. Because you're just a page. There's nothing wrong with being a page. But at least your intuition is talking to you because energy doesn't lie. It's like you'll you'll know when something doesn't feel right. You'll know if something's not good for you or good for your soul. Like you'll know. Maybe you guys are going to get paid out with it with the Six of Pentacles. It doesn't matter, Virgos. Even if you do get paid for this, it's not going to be good for you in the end. It could absolutely go sideways. Yes. It can turn around. It can it can go back. It can go bad ways for you. All right. Uh, hotel energy. Four of Wands. Watch your back. Yeah. Watch your back with this. Uh, it is obviously maybe to deal with some sort of proposal or some sort of deal with the Ace of Pentacles. Money deal. Big money. Watch your back from this person. It's not going to work out. If you think for a second that this deal is going to go through, I'm telling you right now, Virgos, it's not going to go through. The reason why I'm telling you it's not going to go through is because of the judgment card. Spirit is saying, like, don't do it. It's, it's almost like they're trying to protect you at the same time. The, the reason why they're telling you not to do it is because I don't want to show you these cards. These are my cards, and I don't want to show you. But they're saying that if, if, if you were to go, it will not end up good for you. This could also be gang-related, too, or gang-affiliated, but dangerous energy. I'll only show you one. Five of Swords. Seven of Swords. Watch your back from these people. Do not get involved. If you knew that you were going to go and do this and you got a feeling about it, uh, don't do it. Judgment card. All right. Uh, other than that, Virgos, that's the best that I can do for you guys to protect you guys. In, from there, it's all in your own hands. Uh, but I did my part to protect you guys. It's a setup. Don't trust nothing. Don't trust nobody. This looks like a hotel deal bad deal a bad deal that can go absolutely wrong i don't know in the end listen to your intuition wake up and realize that this is not something that you guys want to get involved in it can absolutely go sideways and you guys could totally lose it like lose out in every way you can possibly think of it could be so detrimental that you guys might not be able to come out of it that's the best I can do for you guys. But please, Virgos, if you have a bad feeling, do not ignore your intuition. Thanks, cuties. Bye.